Hey guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I'm going to be doing a little different type of video. This is a for sale video. This is uh, stuff I have. I'm going to college in about a month and a half and I need to get rid of this stuff because I need money for books and tuition and stuff. Um, and I already have all of my main stuff and this is just extra stuff um, that I really do not need. So all none of the prices that I say are going to include shipping. I am completely, if you want to, uh, I am fine with haggling you can send me price offers if you're gonna communicate with me about this I have my Facebook in the description go to that friend me because I'm on mobile or it'll go to my others file friend me I'll accept your friend request and then PM me and we can talk um, about prices about shipping and everything none of these prices include shipping um, this is sort of what I came up with on the top of my head of what I want to sell um, these items for so first of all, this is going to be a package. This is a new player package. My friend, um, I ended up just buying this. This is about two weeks old. He used it at uh, Open Play in Springfield. Um, he ended up breaking, I don't know how, um, I got this message like two days ago. He broke both of his wrists, um, bones in both of his wrists. So he's going to be in cast for like six weeks. Um, and he still has a week or so until he has to see a hand um, specialist. So I'm selling this for him. Um, he's going to go to Ohio State in the fall, and he... He's just not going to be able to play during the rest of the summer um, because of that injury. Um, so I'm selling this with, uh, when it comes to the stock high cap, um, the entire gun. It's a JG BAMF. It's on Evike. Um, it's basically the higher end line of Evike's guns. Um, it has a functioning bolt catch. Um, the hop up is very good. It's shooting uh, really good FPS. It's perfect for outdoor. It's actually pretty accurate. As you can see, it literally has not... <laughs> It literally has not been um, used at all, and it comes with a Matrix battery. This is, uh, yeah, Matrix. It's the 1600 milliamp 9.6 uh, NIM battery, and then a Tenergy Smart Charger. I ended up getting um, this package for him for right around 250. Um, so I'm willing to let that go. Uh, he said it's like if he can get 180 back. Um, great. So that's going for a good cause because I mean he can't just can't play anymore, which is really unfortunate. Um, but that's the fact. So that is the first thing. That's definitely the most important thing. Next, uh, all the rest of this is my stuff. So this is a ICS CXP08. This was uh, won by a friend of mine in the rifle competition at Fallen Warriors Trader Days. I ended up buying it off him because um, I used to have one and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna sell this. Uh, it comes with a 9.6 2,000 milliamp battery in the battery box. The gun is literally brand new. Um, it has been used, I think it had like a thousand or uh, two thousand rounds shot through it uh, over the weekend, but it is super new and in great shape. Um, the hop up, I put, I actually tried 30 gram BBs in it because it's all I was using and it hopped 30 gram BBs perfectly. I can shoot about 150 to 180 feet accurately. Um, I'll let you hear real quick uh, that it's got a great rate of fire on it. Um, nothing DSC wise. But for a stock gun, it is great. Um, it's a polymer body. Um, you can, I recommend taking off these iron sights um, because the gun gets a little bit heavy. But if you take off these iron sights, there's a rail underneath, and it's sweet. The stocks are really, really cool on how they work. So that's number two. That was 180. This is a Magpul Masada. This is the GMP one, not the crappy A and K one internally. Um, it has upgrades internally. You will have to PM me for a list of that. It has. It's been sorbo. It has a new um, piston. It's just been. It's been designed to sort of run as a faster rate of fire, um, lower FPS, so it could be used for CQB um, or some other stuff. But it's in great external condition. It's a little dusty because I just got it back from. Uh, the shop and it had been there for a little while. Um, the magazine or the, the change selectors, um, it's not there on the um, right side if you're aiming down the gun, um, which isn't isn't anything unless you're a lefty shooter. It does not matter because you would use your thumb anyway to change um, change the selector switch. So the stock's full stock. Um, I will not have a. Uh, it doesn't have the flash hider on there because I don't have one for it. Um, both these guns will will not come with a mag because these are my GMP mags, and I have no other mags but like one high cap, which I'll show you soon. Functioning bolt catch. Um, internally, uh, the hop up. Apparently, there's been hop up problems with these. Um, it has a fixed hop up wheel. They did some sort of modification so that it hops it much better. Um, it doesn't shoot that hard because of like I said. Um, but those are the two main guns. 
um, at least rifle wise. Next, this is my GMP Baby Monster Upper. Um, I ended up getting a, a Volter Mark 18 Upper, so I don't need this anymore. I think I've put 500, 1,000 rounds through this. Um, I've only used it at one event. This is the second Baby Monster Upper I bought. Um, it's got a system of 6.04 barrel in it. I'm shooting about 180 feet with my Polar Star with a barrel that is that long. It is ridiculous. Um, it's been bored so that it comes, or it's been custom cut. Um, so the bore of the barrel comes right to the end of there. It, originally it was about there, but it, now it comes out a little bit more. Um, I don't know the exact millimeter because it was cut. I think the original one was 165, so I'm guessing 180 or something like that. Uh, it will not come with the XPMs. I can give you the XPMs for a little bit extra, maybe like five, ten bucks extra um, on that because I, I may, I'll probably throw them on my end or the uh, actual other upper. So that, um, I'm not completely sure price-wise, uh, like I said, the gun itself's new is, uh, 280 I think, so we'll say a price of 130 bucks on the upper, um, we'll start with that. This is a Spring Tokyo Marine 1911, this thing's pretty sweet, it's super awesome, I, I got it in a trade, uh, these are actually pretty hard to find, um, for 20 bucks plus shipping, 25 bucks, yeah, 25 bucks plus shipping, um, is sweet. I'll sort of mix it up and go with the accessories first. Um, this is Tokyo Marine Desert Eagle Mag. This is uh, the nozzles broken on this. New, I think they're like 70 bucks on Red Wolf or something. Um, I like I said, the nozzles broken, so you just have to get a new Tokyo Marie uh, loading nozzle, which you'll unscrew, and then it'll work completely fine, um, which is absolutely fantastic because the mag's in almost new condition. So I'm gonna sell this for 25 bucks. Um, like at five dollars will honestly be what it is. KGW high cap a mag, uh, twenty bucks, whatever. Um, I think actually I think they're new, like eighteen bucks, because I think they're new, like twenty five with their twenty something with e bike discount. Um, this is a GMP G two. I ended up getting a GMP T two. Uh, these are sweet. This is actually it shoots one hundred eighty lumen light. Um, it's great for if you're on a walk around in the field. Um, I got this uh, off e bike GMP stuff. I absolutely love their flashlights there. Their guns, they just make a good product. So this is twenty dollars. I have this is gonna sort of sound repetitive. Sorry, I can't really do anything about it. Um, two gas blocks. Uh, these are the front triangle gas block, and then this is I'm not sure exactly what gas block this is, um, but uh, five dollars a piece for those. And if you get other stuff, I'll probably just end up giving um, them for free to be honest, because I really do not care about them. This is a Surefire helmet light. Um, I'm looking for thirty-five dollars on this. It has yellow IR. Um, and then it has the IFF beacon. It's actually pretty bright um, when you turn it up to its brightest setting. Um, it will not come with the battery. It just uses one CR123A. This is a legit Surfire. It's literally brand new. Does not have the mount um, for the helmet because you have to usually get those separately. Um, but hopefully that that'll yeah. I'm willing to work price wise on anything. This is just a front uh, flip of sight. Five bucks. Um, I have no idea what brand it is. I got it for. 15 or 20 at Airsoft Smith one day. Um, do not care. These are uh, sort of go in the back of buffer tubes. Um, these are double ambies, all of them. Um, if you want to mount, put sling mounts, five bucks a piece. Uh, trigger, five dollars in four trigger. This is a Polar Star. Uh, this is the stock blue nozzle. Um, I, I think they're like 18 bucks new. This is what all of them come with. So unless you have an upgraded one, uh, five dollars is fine for that. Um, what else? This is a Tokyo Marui, uh, rail. This is for a SIG, uh, 5.5Q, actually. Um, it goes, it screws into the back iron sight, and it goes in, uh, through the front on the Swiss logo, Swiss Arms logo, or SIG logo, or whatever. Um, I used to have a Swiss Arms, that's why. And it'll be really sturdy. It's really nice. They do not come with these, I don't think. Um, you can see SIG, Tokyo Marui, Japan. Um, these are actually pretty expensive, so, like, 20, 15, 20 bucks. Um, something like that. This is a holster to go inside of like a 1961. I'll show you that for an example. Um, it goes inside um, the Velcro pouches and like here and it would stick out on the top and you could fit a 1911 or a high kappa in and it works really really well. Um, this is a Pantac 1961. I got this. It's brand new. Um, I ended up getting it from a guy on t our team who was like, hey I got a belt load out. I don't want this anymore. So uh, I'll put a price on this for 60 bucks, which is really, really affordable because Pantac makes great stuff. Their nylon is absolutely fantastic. Um, mags, this is a Tokyo Marie high cap. This will only work with Tokyo Marie guns, I think. I got it with a T89, um, 10 bucks for that. D-Boys high cap, uh, eight bucks. And then this is just a shell. Um, so I don't know what 
and you just put in a regular M4 internal in there. Um, free if you buy anything, honestly. Um, this is a Pantac grenade pouch or double M4 mag pouch. It can be used for both. Um, I don't know which exactly it is. Um, this is like 10 bucks. These are really, actually really nice, eight, 10 bucks. Um, this is a Condor radio pouch. This is four, three, four dollars. Um, for this, this is just a, sort of like a shoulder bag. I use this for my sniper when I had my Tokyo Marie VSR. It holds BBs. Um, so it's actually really nice condition and it works really well. This is like eight bucks. It can actually be mounted on a belt if you want to just take off. You can take off the straps. Um, it could sort of be like a ad or a, a EOD or medic uh, if you want to run like an IFAC sort of. Um, it's sort of like that as far as sizing goes. This is a US uh, 1942. It sends is on the back. Um, I got this at a World War II reenactment. It's really cool. Um, it's a really cool replica um, of what soldiers would be using in World War II. Um, so that, uh, I don't remember what I got it for, five, ten bucks for that. I really don't need some of this gear. This is a Hydro. Uh, the bladder has been washed. I think it's only been used once or twice, actually. Um, yeah, bladder hydr hydration is super important. This is something you need to have. Uh, SBS, I, don't, I think this is Condor. Um, but it works really well um, I, those two times that I used it. But I ended up just running water bottles on the field or uh, maybe I'll use a canteen. Um, and I have a, another nicer hydro that I ended up getting um, with my uh, Blackhawk backpack. So this is uh, 10 bucks for that. Uh, two, here I have two. Um, these are like messenger bags. They sort of would go over your shoulder. Um, they're actually really like really nice to use. Um, you can actually run a polar star tank out of them. I did it for a while. Uh, this is a Phantom or Pantac one. Um, it's a little bit bigger than this one, but not as nice quality. Um, this one, I'll say 25 bucks. It's actually really, really nice. Um, stitching is pretty well used. This one is much uh, heavier weight material. This is a Max Edition hard use gear. Um, these are really nice. Um, I was thinking about taking this to college with me just to use like as some other stuff, um, carry books around and stuff, but I have my Blackhawk backpack that I really, really like. So this one's, I think this one's more like 40 bucks. Um, what I'm going to put on it, I think they're 75 80 new. I did some research one time, um, and they're pretty expensive, but they're super nice. This is a niche helmet cover. This is a uh, extra large size, I believe. I, I'm guessing that would uh, relate to the extra large, like the Mitch XL, but I don't know how many people would use an extra large helmet. Uh, you got to have a big dome to fit this on. But it works great. It's OD, uh, 5 bucks for that. I think we're coming to much close to the end. I'll do my high cap as last because high capas are great and uh, some of the other little stuff over here. This is a big woodland bag. I think it's, it's designed to hold like 200 or 100, 200 liters or something, um, but it's huge. I do not need it. It's basically a rucksack. It's really padded and really comfortable, um, but I'll get rid of this for like 30 bucks. This would be perfect if you're going to want to carry a gun in here um, on the way to an event or something. Um, but I just do not need this anymore um, because I have my mat and I don't, I don't, I have this giant thing in the corner that I carry all my stuff to that you guys see. I'll actually show you that. Yeah, this is, this is really sweet. Um, it's a hard use gear, uh, force protector, recon, or whatever. It's really nice. And I carry all my stuff to an op. Uh, this is uh, 48, 30,000. PSI or 48 CU 3000 PSI tank. This is for Polar Star. Um, new O ring, um, Pure Energy. I think these are $50 new or something. I'll sell it for $25. I do not need, I got two carbon fiber ones, so I really don't need um, this one anymore. Last but not least, my high kappas, and I need to somewhat organize this so I can take pictures. Um, tight bores and stock barrels and high kappas. So this is a Systema 6.04 um, MP5 length barrel. Um, these are 30, 40 new. I'll sell it for 20. Um, this is a small steel barrel, five dollars. Um, GMP Baby Monster stock barrel, five dollars. Um, this is an old system of barrel, ten dollars. And then this is a D Boy stock barrel, I believe, like five, ten dollars. Just offer me up on the barrels, um, and I can give you the specific links, like lengths of the barrel. I'm not sure on some of them. I know this one's a 363. And then the MP5 one is right around 225, I think. But yeah, I don't, I'm just making sure I didn't forget anything on here. This is a Marui high cap rail, $5 if you want it. These are actually pretty nice. 
Um, I just have a rail on this one already. I don't, wanna, I don't feel like drilling holes in there to make one. But so last but not least, these are my Marui high kappas. Um, this one I actually just got a garter metal body or garter. Sorry, that's not a 1911. Um, it's a high kappa, which I mean, its body is 1911. But I got a garter upper like the slide um, for this, and I think it has a garter steel barrel. Um, and some uh, the hammer recoil spring, and then it has a cool little charging handle. I ended up just buying that off eBay, so that will be here in a few days. Um, so I'm not sure price wise on this. Um, right now, I want about 170, 180 for it. Um, it's actually in pretty new condition, um, and it internally is nice. Actually, probably like 150, 160 for that one. But like I said, I will, I'm getting that new upper, which will probably add like 100 dollars. Um, at least a value, so I'll probably sell it for like 220 or something. Last but not least, this is my Limcat Custom. You guys have seen this and been like, dang, that thing's sweet. Yeah, I'm selling it though because I got my Elite Force Tack, and this does not fit in any holster unless you make a Kydex holster, so I really don't want that. Um, each one will come with one high cap of mag. One of them is brand new. Uh, the other one, this one's kind of been used a little bit. Um, I can't include the KGW one for like 10 bucks alongside if you want it. Um, it's got the Limcat slide. These things are ridiculously Limcat custom, Limcat exotic competition pistols. Um, it's got fiber optic front sight, AIP charging handle in the back for quicker um, access to your. Um, it's designed to be racist. Throw in mags and go quick. Um, it's best to use this with CO2 mags as it is definitely durable. The garter barrel is super heavy. Um, it's got a super strong um, recoil spring on this. It feels really great. Um, it's got an AIP blue trigger, AIP extended uh, uh, magazine release. I don't have the extension on here because I just kept, I would set it down and the mag would come out and I'd pick it up and it was stupid so I have it in my toolbox. Um, it has the extended base plate for quicker reloads, which I absolutely love and is necessary for a race pistol. Um, it's got the screws. Um, I believe it has an upgraded bucking, I want to say. I'm not completely sure, as I have no idea when it comes to race pistols. Um, it's been, they've all been, both these pistols have been cleaned, lubed. I maintain my guns well. I do all of them myself. Um, and I'm going to end this video before it gets too long, but yeah, if you have any questions, PM me, um, on Facebook. If they're stupid questions, uh, look first before you, if you have any questions, Google 99% of the time will answer your questions and it'll do it quicker and won't waste my time. Um, but if you do have a question or if you do have any inquiries about these that um, you cannot find or that I could better answer since they're mine personally, feel free to message me on there. Um, thanks for watching guys. Sorry, this is stupid long. But I kind of need to sell some of the stuff, so that would be great. Check you guys out later. Goodbye.